Under the Forms ribbon, different types of forms under a job can be generated based on estimation data from the worksheet. On the left panel, forms of each type are organized under one of type folders, quotation, work order, purchase order, and invoice. To create a new order form, click on Add icon on the left and select one of types, for example, quotation. A wizard window pops up as step one to collect customer and job info information. If this information was set before, it shows under customer and job site area. If not, it can be set from this step now. Click on select from database pull down list and select a customer from this pull down list. Customer data is then populated into the customer area. Edit this area directly as needed as it will show in the final print form. If job site address is the same as the customer address, click on copy from customer button or type it in if different. It is good practice to set up job site address under project info tab as once it is set, it can be used repeatedly. Check on show heading info in form. If there is a need to print secondary heading information in the order form and enter the information, click on Next button. Use this window to set up sales items on this form, control profit margin, review total sales amount, and configure form format as to what to show and not to show on final quotation form. Estimating data are automatically loaded from the worksheet when creating a new form. There are three ways to add extra items into this form. From scratch, from the add any item icon button, or from the add from the database button. To edit detail information about an item, select the item and click edit icon or right click. Select Edit Item, so more detailed fields such as cost price and box prices are editable. This item table columns can be configured by clicking Columns icon, which controls what columns are to be displayed in this table. That is also what is printed on the final form. At the lower section, a control panel contains options to control items grouping container pricing, to round up item quantity, to set tax rate, and to review and set profitability. Check on Show Price Markup box. It opens the options that show current price markup and profit margin level, and also gross profit amount. To adjust price markup or profit margin, Select from the pull-down list, select a percentage from the list, or simply type in a number. Please note that the pricing concepts, markup means percentage add to the base cost price, whereas profit margin means percentage to the gross profit in the sales price. When selecting a number, the program applies to all items in this table, and all summary numbers on the table panel are adjusted accordingly. At the right section, it contains summary data about the quotation, such as breakdowns of the material, labor, add-ons, subtotal, tax, discount, and total amount. The check boxes on the left control if these fields are printed on the final form printout. One may put it in a deposit amount as well, so the balance is calculated accordingly, and both are printed on the final form. Total amounts may be adjusted manually by entering a number. The program then automatically calculates correct amount of discount to match that total sales amount. In another scenario, if one enters a discount amount, total amount will be adjusted accordingly as well. Either way, the profit margin and markup percentages reflect the changes.
click on Next button, it moves to enter any instruction or comment for the job, and it also to preview pre-specified terms and conditions. Both are to be printed on the final form. Instructions can be typed in for the frequently used ones. Select from the comment pull-down list. Select Manage Comment List at the bottom. To create or edit a piece of instruction, this comment list is shared with the comment list used in the diagram window. For terms and condition, this area is automatically populated with a contact preset in system settings. Under order forms, just use it as or directly edit the content area. Click on finish button to preview the complete form. To reopen the forms for editing, click on one of the first three icons, basic info, item settings, or instructions. To pop up the wizard form again for modification, click on form settings icon to pop up order form settings tabs in the system settings to preview and configure related parameters. If the customer signature needs to be captured with this form, click on Sign icon. Print name is auto-filled if it was entered in the project info. A stylus pin can be used to sign in the blank area in the pop-up window. Click on OK. The signature is shown in the preview and will be there in the printout. The quotation forms can be printed, exported to an Excel file, exported into QuickBooks, or converted into an invoice form. Refer to Advanced section for exporting to QuickBooks.